red one. Ewok Templar. Marathon. <laughs> Been a big fan of Bungie for a while. So I thought I'll go back and play their classic Marathon. And it took me a bleep. May know some of the dudes are already dead. That's because it's taken me like an hour to get the controls to work. For some reason, action didn't want to work on anything. But now, all of a sudden, it does. So, things are looking up, I guess. Uh, we're going to move on. We got this terminal here. It's going to give us the information about the story and the things we need to do so that we can progress the game. All right, message to all Marathon Terminals. Marathon Emergency System broadcast today at 0820 hours. The Marathon came under a surprise attack from unknown hostile forces. The Marathon has sustained serious damage. At 0830 hours, alien forces boarded the Marathon. The current situation is dire. All personnel are required to arm themselves and fight for their lives. Oh, incoming message from Leela. Really? Does Fry know? Welcome to Marathon. I am Leela, one of the two surviving artificial intelligence aboard the Marathon. I have been severely damaged, and I am working to understand the current situation. Find the teleport terminal located in the hangar's control room. By the time I should have a good, by that time I should have a good idea of what is going on. End message. This is where you are now. From here, you can explore the rest of the hangar area. Although not all of the doors on the level are functioning. There's a pattern buffer at this location. That's your save points. There is a jump pad at the location activated the terminal to leave the hangar area. Okay. Marathon is a go-go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Like, this thing was so not working that I didn't even know there was an action button. Like, I thought it was gonna be that kind of run and touch sort of situation. Next time, I'll see if I can actually boost up the FPS, because I was playing that way, and I wonder if that was the problem. If me amping up the FPS made it to where it didn't want to function properly. Door broken door broken. There's no crouch function, so that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Alright, we've got some be demons in here. I know this first area very well. That red guy's tougher than the green boys, and he has a ranged attack. We're learning. Now, apparently, grenade jumping and grenade... Running. Hold on. Speaking of running. Oh god, you gotta be careful with running in this game. Alright, the reason I know all of this... Game saved. Okay. Is because I've been stuck in this room for a while, because action button didn't want to work. Yay! Progress! Now we're in an area I've never been before. Finally, after all these years, I too can be the classic game player. Can I touch the barrels? With such oh, that opened up. It wraps back around. That guy's made of VH1 static. Apparently, I don't. Uh... I was concerned. I was like, can I even kill this guy? I was like, you know what? I just saved my game. Let's find out. So this is what we call a puzzle area. The back rooms of this world. This opens up. Takes me up here. Oh. No. The juice. Let me reload. All right, Al. Do you have health? Day one, I'm about to die. Because the VH1 boys decided to shoot their death static at me. All right. 
judging from where I was and where I wanted to go and where I need to be, I wanted to go this way, so that now I can be up here. There's a map function, so... Ah, yes, we're doing well. If you ever get lost in the catacombs, remember the cat... Ooh, that's a down. That's a one-way trip over there. Use your map. What is this? Oh. I like this thing. Go out for those things. I'm gonna... Okay, I got lucky. I freaked him out. He didn't know what to do. Marathon. Oh, oh sorry. Unauthorized access alarm. Hoobajoob. Security breach. Kookajoob. Zibbity zabbity zoo. Fire and her aspects of the theory are as follows. Each society has some controlling force or forces which decide this direction. But the relationships in society are arbitrary. Humanity can relate to money, machines, neighbors, anything really. A logical reset here. Individual characters and personalities are preserved in stories, movies, ROM personalities, etc. Although individuals' expressions is a universal ability, individual freedom is concentrated. Oh, constraints, sorry. By the society. See attached figure. Logical reset. Uh, spurious interrupt, breach disabled, further access denied, breach location undetermined. Ah, that was useless. Reality is what you make it. Alright, there's another down potion here. Might as well. Ooh. Are those bullets? Oh, there's an elevator here. Okay, takes a while to- I was typing F, I was like, huh? I made my action the F button. So there's that. For this this terminal reality, it does things. Humans can relate to almost any reality because they're cool like that. Write it down. Ooh. We haven't gone down this way, actually. It's just a barrel. Can I touch the barrel? May I love this barrel? Access denied. Alright, looks like we're going in here then. Oh! Oh, they can shoot each other. That's good to know. Don't let them shoot you, though. Hurts. Ooh. There's only one left. Damn, he's good. Got him. No reload function, though. It automatically happens. That kind of bothers me, but it's fine. One of the first games that have reload. But it does it when it runs out of bullets, not just when you want to. Oh, there's another terminal here. Marathon. Incoming message from Leela. All the information that I have gathered so far indicates that the alien invasion of the Marathon has been relatively uncoordinated. I suspect that this is partially due to the Marathon's large size. However, disorderly the alien invasion is, their assault of the computer net has been extremely effective. I detect security breaches in almost every computer system on board the Marathon. I have learned that there is an alien creature that is capable of interfacing with our systems. You must kill any of these creatures that you find. It is a priority that we stop them. Even now, they are penetrating my defenses. Teleport now. End message. Jump pad activation. Initiate start. Transport when ready. Well, that was the end of arrival when I had bigger guns nearby.
I think there was more to explore over there. Didn't get the option though. Layla, is that you? What's going on? Incoming message. I am now in contact with a number of colonists pound inside. But the reports on the situation below are conflicting and obviously exaggerated. The primary medium range radio antenna has been disabled or destroyed, which makes communication extremely difficult. The only thing which seems clear to that is that the spaceport was obliterated by low yield nuclear weapons minutes after the attack on the marathon began. This I can verify through my own optical instruments. The invaders seem to be more interested in the marathon than the colony, at least in the short term. The motives behind their unprovoked attack are still unknown, however. Oh. This is the computer terminal you are using now. I cannot teleport you out of this section from here, so you will have to leave from another terminal after you find the assault rifle. Ah, the M75 assault rifle grenade launcher and ammunition at this location when firing on a fully automatic setting. This weapon is highly inaccurate, but the grenades hit hard, and that is the best we can do right now. Ammunition may be scarce for a while, so be prepared to fall back to your pistol. Here is the terminal you must reach to leave this section. Alien infiltration of this area is high. Proceed with caution. You may find doors blocked or stairways uh, retracted on the way. Because the AI in control of these functions is damaged and behaving erratically. End of message. Marathon out. I mean, sorry, Leela out. Leela said, you are off the dumb. This just functions as teleportation area arrival, huh? No, me, I like to cut against the grain. Save point there. A button somewhere, I think it's up there, turns the stairs. That's what I'm feeling. Oh god. Didn't mean to interrupt the party. Aliens? Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Well, I found the assault rifle. <laughs> Really by accident, too. What's this do? I just turned down the lights? That's a big fancy light switch. Thank you, wall. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, enemies approach. No, stop doing alien things. What do you want? What do they want? They're trying to enslave me. What is this? Can I touch it? No, I cannot. It is debris. Is there for entertainment purposes only? God, this ship is in space. All right. I'm glad we understand each other. Oh, more debris, but an elevator. The rumors are true. The staircase of Amunsul. Uh-oh. Well, alright, no fall damage from that height. That height's not high enough. I've learned.
No wonder it's called Marathon. All the walking. Alright, there's nothing else here, right? I did a good job. I move like they do. Alien opposition in this area is high, so I need to kite them over here. Which I will do by shooting that barrel. Come on, then. Alright. Looks like I have no choice but to go in. Oh, he double shoots. Someone's coming. But I reloaded just in time. Oh, secret. Is there a climb function? That'd be pretty advanced. This game had, like, mount. All the games thought about that back then. Reloading! One of these is how I got in. The others are mysterious giant light sources. Huh? All right, I thought that was thought it was a secret. Can I access it from here? No. There's supposed to be secret doors in this game, like all classic boomer shooters. Doing something. Did I just go in a circle? Or? There's that power up again. Still can't get to it. Nothing. One more. <laughs> ah, he bought his zip zap, bro. He's down. He was right. The enemy forces in this area are quite compact indeed. Shoving stuff into other stuff. Is that wetness? Is that the juice? Or do my eyes deceive me? Am I cheated by some spell? Your slow moving projectiles are no match for my human goodness. What's this do? I wonder if there's a mod that lets me collect those papers and read them. And pretend that they're important. Ah! A freak! No. Mm -mm. There you go. Way more useful if you get him up close and personal. He was hiding. He didn't let the sound of warfare activate him. But he was guarding two pointless barrels, so he was kind of... He was weird, to be certain. <laughs> Space is quite marathony indeed. All right. Oh god, they're behind me. No. I must. Lord. Way back here. Has it been health or a safe point since? Oh, 
for literally ducking down, hiding from me. That surprise attack was both mean and unprovoked. Did they evolve from ambush predators? Still can't get that power up. What if I shoot it? Alright. I had to learn somehow. How am I getting bad? How am I getting worse at shooting? This time, things will be different. I'm very aware. Of the cheeky tactics they like to use. For example, this guy. <laughs> Heard the noise of another one. It's above me, they're above me. They've been activated. Ah. Where did he come from? When did this happen? Okay. So now we know. These dudes don't play fair. They'll spawn in. They're tougher than most. Gotcha. You guys make the mush mush look good. What's this? Oh, it's on now. Oh, it's that elevator right there. Hold on. Information. Unauthorized access alarm. Security breach. Marathon uh, internal engineering documents. Section this one. Subject doors. Ah. Estasia Asterist. Or uh, Osterist. <laughs> uh, Orestis. Dominique the First. Plankar. And Ursa Symbol Z. There are five basic door designs to be used on the marathon. Outer bulkhead doors. Airlock doors. Inner bulkhead doors. Tutori. Or inner sealed non-vacuum safe doors. Uh, Quantinary or inner powered automatic opening doors. Direct control of all these doors, except for the treacherary and quaternary, uh, quaternary doors will be given to Durandel, with indirect control of all other doors going to Durandel. The differences between direct and indirect control primary has to do with the manner of opening the door. Durandel will only open a directly controlled door when he is specifically asked to do so. Indirectly controlled doors are automatically controlled by Durandel to open when needed. However, due to the expense uh, involved with adding uh, thermal and visual spectrum sensors to the treachery and quaternary door groups, these doors will be minimally used and expected savings uh, of not using this extrasensory input is estimated to be 57% of the base cost of the basic inner bulkhead door. Uh, the types of doors are all basically the same with some slight variations. The doors in Classic 1 and 3 are the same doors classified separately to distinguish them. The level of safety checking required to assure acceptable leakage. 
The airlock doors are specifically modified to work with manual and remote activation switches. Airlocks are all to be marked with a specific airlock symbol and to be outfitted with an air recharge system. The treachery and quarterary doors are designed exactly as the bulkhead doors, but are checked coarsely for air leakage. This article, as well as articles bleh and articles who on windows and elevators respectively will be placed for public access in the Marathon Internal Engineering Document section who uh, Breach, disable further access me. Security breach at terminal. Is that not where I'm at right now? Yeah. They're trying to use this to access doors. That long terminal was trying to tell us. Ooh, another terminal. Hello. The Marathon's automated defenses were disabled during the initial attack by a direct magnet magnetic pulse. The aliens used the same weapon to disable the Marathon's other two AIs, Durandel and Tycho, and to severely damage myself. Durando is responsible for controlling the ship's autonomous functions, doors, life support, kitchens, air re uh, reprocessors, uh, stairs, and so on. Because he is non-functional, I am working to assume as many of these tasks as possible. Tycho's controls and science and engineering network. Now that you are better armed, our first priority is to reactivate the Marathon's defenses under my control so that we may offer some resistance to the aliens. I have built three placement circuit boards for the defense system, but cannot move uh, them from the manufacturing center without assistance. I will now transport you to retrieve the replacement parts. I will give you further instructions when you arrive. End of message, jump pad, initiate, activate. You'll get an option. I am now here. It is scary. Oh, a save function. Oops, 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 sorry, sorry. Oops, yes. That is that the music of this level just changed. Marathon. Betray you. Sorry. The Marathon's automatic manufacturing systems have finished making replacement circuits. Uh, there are three circuits. Each should be in its manufacturing holding chamber. With luck, the alien viruses have not infiltrated the manufacturing systems. But even if they had, I would have no way of knowing. The attacks on my system are growing more steady. If the counterattack is not able to remove some of the computer infiltrators, then I will eventually succumb. Uh, it is absolutely imperative that a counterattack begin as soon as possible. The marathon is not defenseless, and we can't let it be taken without a fight. End of message. This is where the circuit should be. Look in all of the uh, receptacle lockers. Okay, to the south. To the north, there is a pattern buffer located next to the circuit location. I suggest that you use it immediately. After you have retrieved the circuits, return to the terminal at this location, and I will transport you to the defense center to install them. So here, we're just here to grab the circuits. Oops. There we go. The doors are gonna get weird here. Also, why was that music so different? Buggers! What happened? Oh. God, there's a lot of freaks in this hallway. Was there enough of them? There's a crush grenaders at the end of these hallways. Use the map. Where? Who there? But this way leads over yonder. Only transports matter. Oh, it's a health trouble. We don't need it yet. Good game. What is this? Can I use this? Is that a warhead? <laughs> Are you hiding in here? What's going on with that? Well, I don't care. I guess it's dead now, so it's all good. So that will kill you, right? Whatever this is. 
But oh, you can't even get underneath it. That is just built like that. It's built different. Someone's coming. <laughs> there he is. I missed. He's good at the game. My hope he could be the best. Where are we? Why are there so many tiny trash cans here? Ooh. Blammo! The big boom booms. As God intended. Alright. Let's go then. What are we waiting for? I saw that door. Don't worry about that door. What? Bugaboos! I'm landing above us! Uh oh, something's coming. Pistol ammo, piece of glata. Oh no, ooh. Pistol ammo, <laughs> speak of the devil. It shall appear. What is this? Ah, oh, it's one of the circuits. Okay, alright, what's this, what's this terminal gonna tell me? Dear Barbara, automated manufacturing system, transfer delay, transfer delay, transfer delay, transfer canceled, system error, cause unknown. Transfer materials on intermission counter. Mission from Leila. I was afraid this would happen. You will have to do the manufacturing transport station to get to the last circuit board. Collect the two circuit boards that were transferred and then go to the transport station. It's over there. The elevator here past the main process of channel. You should find the third chip intact on the transport station. The error was a failure of the final transporter conductor. Oh, security breach at. Be careful. There's aliens down there. Once you get to the little dilly dally on the bottom, there's a big, there's a dude down there, basically. I could translate. Oh, save that game. Save that nasty little game. Break the fuse about this. That must be the broken one, right? Huh. Interesting. Do I have two of them now? Oh, there's several lockers here. I gotta check them all. Some of them are just ammo. Some of them are empty, and some of them are broken. There you go, there's a second one. More ammo. Yeah, nice, nice, decent. Yeah, that's hot, that's hot. All right, weird. Can't go through there, but it's there to look at. All right, we got some walking to do. We got some marathoning to do. This is the wrong way. <laughs> secret door, secret, secret. <laughs> oh, big boy secret. Nice. Oh, we're going the wrong way now. We're going the wrong way again. We came this way, we go this way, we wrapped around, right? Came from here. Transport's matter. There it is. Found it. What, you guys scared of doors? How did one of you turn into four? Wait a minute, I call hacks.
My god, they're good. If one of them can turn into four because the door closed, that is a skill I need. Hold on, did I read this one? Whoa, oh, oh. Who's doing the talking? Talk boy, come to me. Ah, they try to pincer maneuver me. Nice try. All three of the parachute, uh, you must retrieve all three of the- Oh, this is where I go to teleport. I only have two of the three, okay. The music, though. This jam session. I said I wanted a song with some pop in it, but this is bananas. D A N A N A N. Hold on. Am I missing something? Oh. The access is here. Gotcha. Whoa, he's throwing out the balls. Put him down. A lot of dudes. Incoming. You know what I could go for? Some view distance. You guys know what I'm saying? Whoa. Oh, that the bugaboos have spits. I didn't know they had a range attack. This changes everything. I want to go home now. I want to retire. I want to take a salad. Oh, Lord. They were so quiet in their maneuvers. I see that range is my ally in this game. Oh, lord. Always take out the bugaboos first. Because they're weak and they have range. And them having the numbers doesn't help me at all. I'm running low. Oh, well then. Just clear the area a little bit. Make sure they are who they say they are. That does nothing. Ooh, just in time. Someone's coming. Man, he's good. That activated something. Either stairs, an elevator, an Ella stairs. Oh, that brought it all down. Ah, I messed that up. Walked right into it. But up here is where this button is. Hold on. Sorry. And when that button's pushed, oh boy. Is the only elevator up here? Oh, there's two. Actually, wait. Ooh. Hold on. There's number three. What do you want to tell me? Good job. I have received reports from some human security forces. They agreed that the aliens are concentrating on the aft engineering section. I would conject. Uh, I would conjecture. Right. 
uh, that they will try to shut down the Marathon's reactors. Your next mission will be to put the automatic defenses online. I will give you the exact information when you arrive. Teleport when ready. Oh, it's just gonna happen now. At this... I thought I had to do it with the one upstairs. Counterattack? Take your time. We're marathoning. It's happening. What's the truth? Tell me the big truth. Leela. I have received a preliminary report from some members of the science staff who have finished post-mortem examinations on three kinds of aliens. They report that by modern geological standards, the different aliens belong to different species. I have been collecting as much information as I can, and I will give you a report shortly. I have established contact with Durandel. For the first time since the attack, he seems to have sustained less damage than I had previously suspected. Durandero reports that he has been in communication with the aliens. He says that the aliens behind the invasion call themselves the Four. I'm assuming that P is silent, because otherwise they'd be the Before. And that makes me giggle. And that, the ones attacking the computer net are called S Is the is the <laughs> the Sit? The Sfit? Or the are called the S. <laughs> Sorry. But he was reluctant to share the details with his communication, and I cannot understand this. Your mission is rather simple. You must insert the circuits into the defense control terminals. This is your current location. In the, <laughs> in the birthing canal. There is a shielded uh, recharge in the access control room. Okay. A oh, shield recharge room. Okay. My shield has never been affected because it just, I, they only take away from my health. So I guess I've, oh, you know what? I bet I've never had shields. That's the thing. Here's a supply room with a large supply of ammunition and weapons. You should stop in this room. Please go in this room. We need you to. For the love of God, don't skip this room. Right? He just keeps on stalking. This is the defense control center. Hopefully the new control circuits will work. Place one in the terminal at this location. Place the second one in the final location. Good luck. Yay! He's dead now. He can't hurt me no more. Tough for enemies. Ooh. Big boy bombas. Can I touch these trash cans? I want the trash cans to do something. This is a big room full of nothing. Am I getting crushed to death? Wait a minute. Oh. I was getting crushed to death. Huh? Please, no one. Well, he's dead. I immediately looked for a secret I found when I was like... I was like, no way that they just make a crush to death room. <laughs> That'd be kind of mean. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Actually, you know what? It doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Yeah. Let's do this one first. Mush mush for me. 
Oh, this level's like big or whatever. And we know right is the way we're supposed to go. So going left and up, there's got to be something hidden over here. And it's just a bunch of angry looking enemies. Oh, whoa, holy manolis. Okay, we got this. guys this game needed a little bit more draw distance in my opinion oh. ah the old squeeze arena we have all those things are connected then how do I get there There's no save point from here and getting the last dilly dally. Oh man, old school games are ruthless. I wonder if I could just do level select. That might save us some time. But will I have all the ammo I have? Right? Hold on. Worst case scenario, we just reload our save and try, right? Wait, I don't know how to do level select. A few minutes later. Oh, but now I don't have my assault rifle. Hmm, hmm. He thought to himself. I feel like that's all I did wrong. All I did wrong was the first direction I chose, because I went the direction that looked like the way I'm not supposed to go. The bonus area, if you will. Is this an airlock to outer space? Well, there's a save point and a health station here. So I'm definitely going to use that. Oh, this is the ammo room that I was supposed to find. All right. We're full of juice now. So I guess the shield room is actually up ahead. This is in the shield. This is regular health. Yeah. All right, go ahead and save again. Now we're cooking. Why did they put that scary biohazard sign right there? Made me think it was something else. 
Wow, you got some range on that F key. <laughs> and that action key has some range on it. Oops, not that. There it is. Defend this. Complete battle station. All right. We got some walking to do. Let's marathon it. No, <laughs> please. Lieutenant Dan. All right. I need some more splash damage on these grenades. Playing, trying to play super conservatively. Super conservatively. Ooh. Something of importance in here? Pistol ammo. Nice. Definitely needed that. Definitely hated that guy. Ooh. Health is full. What's the secret, boss? Access alarm. Security breach. Search heading rampancy. Found but headings. Removed head uh, redundancies. File one of 1,940,237. Uh, it is a safe side effect of rampancy that AIs generally become more aggressive and more difficult to affect by subterfuge. Thus, actually dissembling a rampant AI is quite dangerous. This was evident in the crash of Thraxis uh, 4 in 2206. Uh, by the time that the rampancy of the Thraxis was detected, he had already infiltrated five of the other AIs on the Martian net. The only recourse for the Martians was to shut down the Martian planetary net. Even then, it took two full years to completely root out the damage that Traxxas had done. And the repercussions of the crash were seen for over ten years after. His rampancy had begun. Rampancy is divided into three distinct stages. Each stage can take a different amount of time to develop. But the end result in the steady progression towards greater intellectual activity and an acceleration of destructive impulses. It is not clear whether these impulses are due to the growth of the AI psyche or simply a side effect of the new intellectual activity. Section abbreviated. The three stages uh, were diagnosed shortly after the first rampancies were discovered on Earth in the later parts of the 21st century. The stages are titled after the plant, uh, primary emotion bent of the AI uh, during each stage. They are melancholia, anger, and jealousy. In general, rampancy is accelerated by outside stimuli. This was discovered early in cybernetics. Or cybernautics. No, cy cyber tonics. And more rampant AI is harassed or threatened, the more rapidly it becomes dangerous. Thus, most, ramp most rampants are dealt with in one mighty attack in order to deny the AI time to grow or recover. There have been a few examples of this tactic not succeeding. In all of these cases, the Rampant was never brought under control. Thraxxus IV was the most notable example. He was finally dealt with by a complete shutdown of his host net. Theoretically, testing Rampancy should be easily accomplished in the laboratory, but in fact it has never successfully been attempted. The confinement of the laboratory makes it impossible for the developing rapid AI to survive as the growing recursion program expand with exponential uh, vivacity. Any limitation negatively hampers growth. 
Since rampant AIs need a planetary sized network of computers in order to grow, it is not feasible to expect anyone to sacrifice a wool of the web just to test a theory. In the 250 years since rampancy first appeared in the Earthnet, the stable rampant AI, the holy grail of cybernautics. Cybertonics. Uh, I, I don't know. Whatever. Has never come close to fruition. Since no rampant has ever been controlled or turned to any useful purpose, it is the opinion of this rider and of the majority of the cybertonic community that all rampant AIs are a danger to cyber life, liberty, and the pursuit of uh, thrashed, thrashedness. The email the life and death of intelligence. Thrashedness? What is thrashedness? Uh, unauthorized access alarm. So I'm learning more about the world around me through these terminals, which is awesome. Hold on. That. Nice. Decent amount of pistol. I feel like I'm going to need that for the exploding spiders, because they have this jump ability that threw me for a loop. Nothing. I think when they die, that self destruct thing they do. Gonna snipe it. There we go. What was their deal? I don't like those spider boys. They hurt. Ooh. Grenade launcher rounds? I'm running, right? This is my. Oh, I wasn't running this whole time? I was gonna say, things felt a little slow in here. Hold on, this should be a place you'd hide a secret, right? I mean, look how big it is. You'd be like, someone had to be dedicated to run around clicking all these walls. No, there's not. Oh. I found something. Oh, what? It was good. Okay. Looks like we're safe for now. More information here. Leela, I have summarized all of the information that I have gathered on the alien so far. Uh, the four are generally thinner and taller than humans and are superbly adaptable for low gravity environments. Durandal told me that there are many clans of four, each physically distinct from each other. But my summary only includes two of them. Only two clans of the four have been examined. The fighter carries a shock staff, which is capable of attacking at different settings. The trooper is armored with vacuum conditions and carries a combination explosive and impact projectile weapon, which is similar to your AR-75. The four seem to have enslaved a number of other races. The Hulk is an enormous and rather slow creature, but is incredibly strong. The science report in indicated that it had no body fat. 
and therefore had to be fed often to keep it active. One crew member reported seeing one of these creatures pointing to itself and mumbling, Duranoil, Duranoil, right before it picked Johnny up by the shirt and crushed him against a pillar. The science staff had difficulty finding a good specimen of the S, or the S, or compiler. A autopsy, to autopsy, the only uh, specimen autops, autopsied was almost completely destroyed. But it was obviously that the compilers are cyborgs of some kind. The biological component of the compiler is so closely linked to the machine that it could never survive without it. The compiler's actually body is very small, resembling closely a mammalian brain, except that the neurons are much finer and far more complex. All right. Cyborgs have become so cybernetic, they literally can't survive without their cybernetic body. They've evolved to the point where they only have brain bodies. Okay. These are compilers, then. The S. They move like they do. But I move like me. Come on, I'm banking on a secret in here. So looks like we just got four big buttons. All right, we tried. What? Oh, there's a pattern. Wait, so they have different times? That's fast. That's slow, but also click something else. What? Oh, it's a puzzle. Kind of. Save point. Go ahead and use that real quick. And now. I was busy learning. I feel like I'm missing something.
Now it's on a timer. Now it's not all of a sudden. Super confused. How am I doing this wrong? Okay, I think I need to turn this one off, turn that one on, and then run. There we go. That is annoying. Why? Alright, Layla, you have not completed your mission. You must replace all of the circuits. With every passing moment, the opportunity for the... Unless the counterattack is fading. Okay. Frenetic.
<laughs> All right. Patterns are now. They are closed. Now they'll all open. Well done. I have detected defense drone activity all over the ship. Reports from security forces are jubilant. Now the four will be encounter stiffer resistance, and they will have to pay in blood for every move. The colony appears to be under attack. I detect seven four dropships entering the atmosphere only minutes ago. Trajectory analysis indicate that the ships were headed for the outskirts of a colony shortly thereafter. I lost communication with the colony. Something has come to my attention. I will inform you after you teleport. Really? Fine then. Okay. Real quick. <laughs> Tell me a secret. From Leela. I have some bad news. Durandil has gone rampant, and he is in the anger stage. This explains how Durandil was able to communicate with the four and the S uh, while I have not. Theoretically, the Marathon computer net is not big enough to sustain rampant growth for very long. This means that it, as Durandil grows into the computer net, he will begin to affect all aspects of the ship, resulting in unpredictable failures of otherwise benign computer systems. I have teleported you here to make sure that Durandil cannot gain access to the vital sections of the ship. There are a series of control switches that you will need to activate to block his access. This is where you are now. Study the map so that you can do this quickly. Here is the first of three switches that you will need to activate. It's in the middle. Here is the second switch. It's underneath you or above you. Looks like underneath where I'm at right now. This is the last switch. Be warned that the aliens have already entered this area. All right, well, first things first. Captain Kapow. A save point, please. I have no idea where they came from. That did something. I don't know what. I guess that was a shortcut. Is he coming up here? <laughs> All right, that goes in a circle. All these squares make a circle. This door is broken, which is nice. Save points at the beginning of levels would be nicer. Just saying. <laughs> oh good, that leads me in a circle. I am glad. The old loop to loop up down for no reason circle. That's great. Wait, did I just do two of them already? I think I did. There's a save point. Good lord.
What happened to you all? All right, anywho. Uh. <laughs> that's that's episode one, Phantom Menace. Uh. <laughs> Woo! This is this is tough, especially the puzzles. But yeah, we're going through marathon. Hopefully, this won't take us too long. It looks like we actually did we did a pretty good amount of damage to the list of missions. I imagine this won't take us more than three to four more episodes. Depending on how difficult the puzzles get later on. But uh, thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Ewok Templar, going through Marathon. i never gone through it before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. Space is quite marathon -y indeed. All right. Oh god, they're behind me. No. I must. Lord.